Hello friends. Welcome back to online spoken English class. Friends, as we know, English is the second language in our country. So, writing and speaking in English as a non-native speaker has its own set of problems. So in this module we will discuss some quick explanations and tips about how to avoid common english mistake so let's move on let's move our first sentence is she knows to play the piano but this sentence is incorrect something is missing it this sentence after the verb to know the infinitive is always introduced by the adverb how it should be like this please repeat after me she knows how to play the piano Let's move to the next sentence. We often use the word lest. But we should be very careful while using this word in a sentence. The word lest means to avoid the risk. Let's read this sentence. He ran lest he miss the train. but the conjunction lest is generally followed by the word should so the correct sentence is like this please repeat after me he ran lest he should miss the train Let's move on. Here we have another example. Homer was greater than all the Greek poets. This sentence is technically incorrect. Since Homer was a Greek poet, but this sentence makes him greater than himself, which is illogical. Rather, it should be like this. please repeat after me homer was greater than all the other greek poets our next sentence is He is stronger than anybody. While making a comparison between one person or thing and all others of the same kind, the word else must be used after everybody, anybody, anything, etc. So the correct sentence should be like this. please repeat after me he is stronger than anybody else let's move to the next example Our next sentence is this is the only that i like in this sentence the object is not clear it should be like this please repeat after me this is the only one that i like
here in this sentence the word one is used for the thing or object of which we are talking about our next sentence is i enjoyed during the holidays this sentence is also incorrect the verb enjoy cannot be followed by a preposition it must always have an object which may be either a reflexive pronoun or a noun means it could be a pronoun or a noun please repeat after me i enjoyed myself during the holidays or it could be like this please repeat after me i enjoyed my holidays please note we also can say i had a good time it is conveying the same expression as i enjoyed myself but it is incorrect if we say i enjoyed my time so it should be i enjoyed myself let us take another example this is very common mistake that we often make while speaking english we say my sister is 15 years does this sentence convey any sense no It should be like this. Please repeat after me. My sister is 15 years old. Now, the new word old is giving a complete sense to this sentence. Please note we may also say my sister is 15 years of age or we can simply say my sister is 15 but never say my sister is 15 years let us move generally we make this type of mistake while filling a check it is incorrect to say or write 8037 the conjunction and must be used to connect 100 1000 and million to a number of tens or units so it should be like this please repeat after me 8037 Let's move to the next sentence. We say better go home at once. But it is incorrect. The correct phrase is had better it should be like this you had better go now please repeat the sentence after me you had better go home at once
Let us recapitulate what we have learnt. The correct usages of some certain words in English. That's all for today. In our next module, we will discuss something new and more interesting. Till then, goodbye.